So there you go. We now have. Let's try this endo. Okay, endo. Okay, for those who are manufacturers or suppliers of luminaires, if you want to advertise your product, just let me know. Okay, I will use it in my tutorial. Oops, plugin. <laughs> All right, so let's go and send it to Dialux because I'm going to use it in Dialux Evo. Uh, wait, hold on. I think my Dialux is not yet open. Okay, so I'm going to use this one in Dialux. So the idea is we will get the effect of this uplighter and use that uplighter as a brush and use it in our Photoshop. So what we selected is the narrow beam. You can see in the uh, photometric diagram here that it's a narrow beam. And I hope that we will get the same in our um, in our effect in Dialux. Okay, so I'm just going to use this outdoor. And I'm just going to create a small ground where I can place the object as a wall. Okay. I'll just scale it. Yep. And then I'll just make it a little thin here and make the height as 5 meters. And let's see how it looks. Okay. Perfect. Let's remove the arrow. And then let's drag now our photometric file. Send to Dialux. There you go. Endo is now here. So just place it here. And let's open the light there. Oh, look at that. So the endo is looking good. Look at that effect. I love it. So let's go and try and arrange it properly. So I'm just going to move it like 30 centi away from the wall. And then let's run a calculation. Okay, I think the photometric file is wrong. It's aiming somewhere. Let's go and check it. Okay, I think we need to rotate it. And I think this is correct. All right, let's go and render it. There you go. Now, <clears throat> I think this this uh, height is not enough because we need to get the overall length and height of the beam. So let's make this height a little higher. Let's make it 10 meters. And let's calculate again. Okay, this is fine. And then make this wall a little a, a more straight as much as you can because we want our brush in a 90 degrees position. Okay, and then let's just copy this one. I can use now the snipping tools. Okay, don't get confused. This is just, I'm just cropping the image. Okay. And then I will save it or just copy it and then control V in Photoshop. All right, so it's here now. Okay, but my, my canvas is very short. Okay, let's make my canvas a little bigger. And let's make this one, say, 50. All right, so this is now my original image. And then what I'm going to do is I will uh, press the Control L again. And then I will intensify the color of white and the black because I need to make sure that I capture the correct beam effect. Okay. Okay, that's too much. Okay, I think this is fine. And now what I'm going to do is I will crop it. Let's crop it because I need to make sure that I will only capture um, I will only capture those light effect. Okay, you can see, you can imagine now the the up light on the wall is a little up. It's not on the ground because of the space I offsetted the luminaire from the wall. See, it's not touching the ground. And then crop and then go to this image and then uh, adjustment and then go and invert there you go now it's inverted go to the edit and then define brush preset you can name it like natural stone or whatever or you can name it as what is the brand again endo okay you can name it as endo and then okay 
and now we can use this one in our design so let's go and try it i'm going to close this one now and create a new file for this one now you see this one is cropped okay so let's go and use this one the the, the brush that we just created so go to the brush and then let's uh, use this brush now and let's try it boom okay i think there's a box still here so this is wrong because it should be only the light i think i need to create i need to control l again so let's do it control uh, z okay let's go back to our brush okay i should be in the layer this one control l okay and then i will use this uh, image and then de define brush again and do two or one and then okay all right so let's go back to our ground now let's make it bigger press b for brush i should be in the right layer and bracket small bracket sign to make it smaller and there you go boom okay so this is the ugly thing about this brush is because now you are exceeding your light on the wall so you either create i will undo it create a new layer and then do like this and this and then crop this ex, uh, exceeding lines or exceeding lights by pressing l and delete and oops control deselect there you go now you have your okay so there you go i think this is not really a narrow beam okay let's try white beam then okay let's go back and then look for a wider beam so let's try this one okay so there you go we will now uh we are now here at this white beam selections from loom search so let's go and try this linear light i can see in the photometric file that it's a wide beam so oh this one okay let's just try this unilab because it looks wider on the beam optic see the photometric file looks like this and this one is 55 watt is it led yeah it's too high okay let's try this one so let's go and crop it so let's try this snipping tool again and crop you can add this one but no <laughs> okay you cannot add the luminaire because it will be added on the brush i will just open a new photoshop save us and then beam white beam i'll save it in my desktop and then save i'll go to my desktop and create that beam and open with photoshop again so it will not destroy my original uh, file and then make this one as intensive there you go yep and then let's now make sure that the difference between white and black is very contrasting okay and then let's go to the image again and adjustment and invert and let's go to the edit and define brush and i'll just make it as a beam brush and then i'll go to the original file that we are working on and let's try this new beam optics so what i'm going to do is i'll create a new new copy again of this background and i will make it again a little darker Control l this one okay and then let's use the brush Control uh press b for brush and then let's select the new brush here that we just created and this is code 516 oh it's huge okay so i'll make it smaller adjust a little more because it's too wide beam perfect there you go okay you can adjust the opacity of your brush actually or you can create a new layer for the brush only because if you change the opacity right now see also the the wall changed the opacity so let's just do undo it 
and let's create a new file for this one you can change the opacity from this bar like this or you can change the opacity of your brush itself like this and there you go oh, too much you need to change it into 75 percent perfect okay so i think that's it for now mansoor and i hope you learned something so there are two ways on how to do that is by using the the filter render and then lighting effects or create your brush and use it as your brush tool for wall washing all right so i hope you learned something today and please do do not forget to buy my book about the facade lighting design techniques and also the course in udemy.com about the facade lighting and other courses all right and don't forget to subscribe and see you again on the next video